Hey everybody, it's FJM and I have a manga review for chapter 635 and of course it's for Naruto manga, if you didn't know already and this chapter I think it's one of my favorites because we because we got to see some more Orochimaru because he's one of my favorite villains so we got to see some more Orochimaru going on, some action, some changes in him and all sorts so the chapter of course continues uh, from where we left off in the last chapter, where Orochimaru is just like, I'm coming for you Tsunade. And then, I thought he was gonna do something to Tsunade, but instead, he actually, uh, how do you say this, he offers to help her. So he helps out Tsunade, and during that, Keren suggests to get into a huge fight. Well, not that huge, just like argument and harassment and all that kind of stuff, just basically bullying each other. I thought it was quite funny, added some humor to, um, to the chapter. They did it quite a lot, which was epic, but I thought he was wasting some pages a few times. Just some parts, some parts it was like a whole page for jokes, which I thought that could have been used for something else. But still, it was good, because this chapter was 19 pages, so it was longer than the average, which is like 17, so that was good. Um, so, Orochimaru offers to help Tsunade, and he helps her. And Tsunade is just like completely beat, split in half old face and can barely keep the summoning and so on she's just pretty much dead she's laying there and then of course Orochimaru commands Keren suggests to help her out Keren lets her by turn suggests to puts her together and somehow magically Tsunade is then put back together like kind of a jigsaw piece Plop. and then she's back and of course Orochimaru informs her what's going on and so does the slug he tells her that he's changed and he basically, he's tired of the way his life went and he just wants to see the way Sasuke is going to go and so on. She tells him that Jiraiya might have not died if he stayed and so on. It was a pretty touching moment, it was pretty good. And in the end, um, Orochimaru of course, well not Orochimaru, I mean Tsunade of course uh, continued to heal the Kages. She restored them back to full, everyone is back, it was really epic. And then we switched scenes back to the battlefield. And Sai's getting quite curious about Sasuke. He doesn't like. Uh, Sai doesn't pretty much. He doesn't like Sasuke in a way. He's kind of. I don't know what you say, but. He's kind of intimidated by him and so on. So he's trying to figure him out. He doesn't trust him. And he looks at Sakura. Sakura seems like she trusts him. But he knows that she's faking it or something. I didn't really understand it, but. There you go. And then Sasuke. Sasuke, the badass. Um, he just completely wants to destroy the Jubi and he, he kind of got cut off, I don't know, he said he wanted to do something. This could be a twist to the plot, because we all heard that Sasuke changed, but this could be a twist. So um, he changed apparently, but how much did he change? What's his goals? So he wants to light the Jubi a flare and the Kurama and the, the other thing. They wanna, they wanna stop, they wanna stop the fire so they can take advantage of this when the Jubi's weakened and try to attack it. But Sasuke just continues, and then Naruto is yelling at like Sasuke, and eventually Sasuke notices that his flames were put out by the Jubi or by someone. I don't know. He just said he put it out. I don't know what he meant, but we'll see. I guess maybe it was Madara. You don't know. And in the end. Um, it was, it was basically a simple ending, the Kages are all back, they're all prepared to go to battle, they're all prepared to come together. It's gonna be so good for Ido Kage, like all the Hokages together in one place, that's just amazing. Of course with the other Kages and the Great Nation and uh, two Bijus and, so, and Sasuke, it's, it's amazing, it's pretty much amazing. But also uh, the final page was kind of confusing for me because I we got to see segments of Kakashi and Obito fighting and they both got pierced so I think one of them is gonna die one of them is gonna have to die that moment not that moment but in that dimension so overall it was a good chapter you guys should check it out it was really good I would give it a, a 4.5 out of 5 the 0.5 just because the actually you know what 5 out of 5 it, was, it had humor it had a lot of action and it was very informative and it was pretty much a good storyline because uh, Orochimaru showed that how much he's changed Anyway, thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.